All right, welcome, welcome. Oh boy. So, not gonna lie, I'm mainly streaming right now because I really want to get back to this game. It is a ton of fun. Uh, so where we last left off, we had just finished running around Hogsmeade, grabbing the stuff Let's that was supposed to replace our supplies that we lost, and the dragon attack, and... Cat. It's walking towards me. Kitty! Oh my god, it's looking at me. Pet. Pet the kitty. I love this game. Okay, I'll bet you again. This is the other reason why I'm loving this game. You can pet the cats. Okay, why not? It's just so adorable. And it purrs. Okay, so before I start going hanging out with Natty, let me see what else there is over here. Just better just to get with her and ah, figure out what to do. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> we should walk around I am a bit more. Dead exhausted. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. What's going on? I'm sorry, what? Sorry, what? It's a random armored troll? What the hell's going on? Draw it away from the building! Away from the building! Oh, okay, another armored troll. And I'm glad I recognize that I can do stuff for TV. Oh, I have to dodge that. Are we weakening him at all? Keep acting. We have to let him down. Oh, that dodges in a specific direction. Stuff at him. Hey, let me throw that at you. Well, I'll heal. You need stuff thrown at your face, dude. Oh, 
there's a lot. Look, he's faltering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. All right, I may lose here. There we go. Should be noted that I am playing on hard. Here I come. Can I get more potions? Ooh, what is that? What is this? Bad rags wizard wear. Mind if I do? Can I talk to him? I can't talk to him. Okay. Alright. Well... put on stuff that actually does stuff. Alright. So that's the thing I can do. Maybe that will help give me a bit more of an edge. Kitty cat. Make me feel better about losing. Okay, yeah, I feel better about losing now. Well, if you insist. This may become like a four hour stream of just me ca petting cats. Nothing else. I'd be perfectly fine oh, with that. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to be. <laughs> All right. Let's get through that. Immediately, not able to dodge. Just want to point out the cat was over there, too. Run, kitty cat! Box was 
save. Doing much better now. Look, he's faltering. Something wrong with us. We need to make sure he stays that way. To make sure I'm on top of it. Uh, any more boxes to throw? Oh, no, he hit me in the back. Oh, he hit me in the back again. He hit me in the front. Alright, there we go. Extra invoke ancient magic. Oh! Okay. That was cool. Goodness! A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. Well, I am it's Flibby Flibberson, after honest. all. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. All right. I assume I gotta do reparo. Reparo. Oh, Lucky they didn't do more. Than I see what he wants. That's a lot of damage. I guess it was like an armored troll. Where's the kitty cat? Did the kitty cat survive? Kitty cat, okay. You know, I gotta be honest, that's what I'm really worried about. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, what? No. Kitty cat, you're okay. Oh, so cute. Uh, I know. I know, kitty cat. I don't understand the power of Flippy Flipperson. Oh, I have like a whole new bar. I just noticed that there's a whole new uh, bar on the bottom right. I'm assuming that's like ancient magic. Sweet. And <gasps> can't appear to up nowhere. Like a dream come true. Cats are just popping into existence. I know. Revelion. Bladderax Wizardware, founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade. One of these things is not like the other. Bladderags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate, Otto Dibble, happily help all those who wander into the shop. Well, they didn't help me earlier. Enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Oh, so I'd probably be welcome there. You'll probably get a kick out of me. We were just talking about you. Wait, are you saying that I don't have any fashion sense? Is that what you're saying? Because it's true. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. 
I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting Hello, the dear. Trolls, and not to mention your help now. restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own glad rags, wizard you can give me gear. my inventory are some unique Magical items that gear. afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Uh, that's far too generous of you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. I yeah, I'll be polite at the very uh, least, now, even now if you plan on taking the gift. Side, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh. Five offense. Okay, interesting. No trait applied. Ornate black and brown gloves are legendary. Yeah. Like, much better than mine. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rack. Alright. Oh, now it shows me how to equip new things, even though I've been getting things. Okay, that isn't actually too bad for uh, price-wise. Okay, so basically blue, green, blue, purple, orange is the, looks like the actual ranking. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. I've earned at Shall least seven. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just Back down we this keep way, a track. That's how I know it's seven that I'm owed. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Rebellion. <laughs> You're most welcome to talk Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrag serve only as a means to display the latest in the wizarding fashion. Interesting. Can't wait to figure out what those are for. Or at least how to open them. I heard a little dinging. Rebellion. I see something over there. There we go. All right, where am I going? Level three lock. That's not where I'm going. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Well, I suppose someone powerful like Flibby Flibberson should do some networking. Hey, look, a mysterious man. I don't even he know why we you followed could get him. To the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Hey. <laughs> Let's go.
Don't Did worry about us? me. I'm just I don't think right so. there. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yep. Let's hide. And then drink. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh, sweet. Free drinks. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Yep, it's all me. Thanks for this. My pleasure. Didn't even get scratched. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. You don't say. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> What time, then? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that I mean, if considering I she has a deeper down. voice than him. No need for theatrics. I mean, I can think of I'm a few here for this better one insults. Anyway. My friend I came needing to uh, wait until his balls drop. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh. Damn. I said, my friend is busy. Uh, the whole town is one pretty much against these guys. For one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink right. butter beer forever. You weren't planning on drinking butter beer. I already said you were here to grab the grab me, and that was it. We weren't gonna Seems buy drinks anyways. An fortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Oh, I bet. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. We literally just it's met today. To that later. Literally just met today. I think that now might I'm be sorry you don't know my life story. Also. Revelio. There we go. Currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, Three Boom Six is the long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Ooh, I think I deserve a fire whiskey. At the very least. Oof, that was a long drink. Yes. Me food. Don't mind me, lady. I'm just drinking your drink. Ooh, and eating your eats. Rebellion. Anything special here? Feel like there is. Feel like there's a thing over here. Yep. Forty-three. I still don't know which currency that's in. Is it galleons or nuts? Ooh, it's raining. Alright, so we're just I'm gonna talk right glad here. Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Alright. You must return to the to your common room for the night, access the map. The Hogwarts map button. Gotcha. 
Fast travel to your... Where... Oh boy. Okay, it was there. I picked the right place. All right, it's day two. Ooh, I leveled up. I know, Mr. Owl. I wish I could pet you, but I apparently can't. Can't talk to you. Ooh, I received an owl post. Owl post will be sent when characters you might have requests or updates for you. Look at Professor Fig to see his owl post. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Where's the kitty cat? Benny. Benny. Oh, you know what? I never went up here. Oh, what? Am I supposed to go up this way? No. It... Let's ball. Revelio. to steal from my fellow students. Alright, let's go. First, spinning. Alright, so... Couple things going on. Let's see, secret dueling club. Flying off the shelves like a moth to a frame. Let's start with that. Flying off the shelves. And I know I can fast travel, but I want to... I was forced to fast travel earlier, so I want to kind of walk through things. Oh yeah, that's right. There's this thing. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, is there another... Rebellion. Okay, it's up there. Ooh, book. Book. Action. There we go. Oh yeah, the hourglass things. I thought I got points. Rebellion. I thought I got points before. These large ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively.
All right. Let's see. So... There's something about these that I'm not understanding. Like, is it a sum? No. No, four, three. It would have to be number, right? How is that? Not even on there. Oh wait, no it is. It's up there. Passageway. Hidden behind the statue of One-Eyed Witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeydukes. It can only be accessed using a particular charm. Thing. One-Eyed Witch Passage. Where am I? Kitty cat! Yay! Shut up, Peeves. I'm petting a cat. Oh yeah, that... That sounds like a fun thing to deal with. I'm just gonna get away from that. What the hell? Um. I was not expecting that. Put on performances. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's totally intentional. Really mastered that one, haven't you? What was that? Are you just talking smack to the great Flibby Flibberson? That was Eddie Cleaver. Did... Is he still being chased? Alright. I don't know what to do for that. I'm not going to worry about it. Revelio. Oh, oh, here we go. Lachlan the Lanky. This statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky. Tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself. For what, precisely? No one knows. Alright. I have no idea where I'm going. Whee! Huh? Oh, not again! <laughs> Where she said I could swim, did you praxia mole? 
As I'm long sorry, as what? there's only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. These peers will make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us, did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed. Or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. It literally came out to of the toilet. Contract with her, not with him. That if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. We. Okay, you finish. That's so We're bizarre. Ready. Haunted toilets. Yeah, I've already experienced that in my last stream. Unless in dire straits, it's probably best to avoid this particular toilet, as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite, favorite pranking spots. I can't talk. I'm too tired. This place is so big and so confusing. Really, this doesn't have a thing? Okay. Spinny. No spinny? No spinny. That's depressing. Where are they? Oh my god, this game is... It's something... That whole, like... Holy crap. Alright. I need to get all the way over there. I don't know even where I am in the castle. Oh. Excuse you. Wait. Wait. Quest updated. to tell Professor Fig about the troll attack on Hawksmute, and i like to find out if he learned more about the locket we found in Gringotts. I don't know why it updated. So is this literally the arms and defense against the Dark Arts Tower? Any? Rebellion. No, okay, nothing there. There's something over here. Oh, okay. Benny. Oh, there we go. A new student would help me with my sad predicament. I'm sorry. What? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia no. Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Who? And why should I hate you? I mean, I already hate you. Why do I hate you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling so liquid. am I going to play gobstones? Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Oh, I see why she's... Like... Imelda is one of the worst losers. Yep, okay. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. He's basically a really, really bad sportsmanship. And hidden person. them in very high places. Got really bad school. sportsmanship. Oh, now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in high places. Uh, I think they overreacted. On their pot. I'll say. Anyway. I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Oh. Yeah, where would one of those be? 
Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you have any friends? Any friends? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not wow. Well since. Wow. Natty said hello to me once. That's the closest I've ever had to having a friend. I'll see what I can do. Don't I'd worry. Libby Flipperson will help if you. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Alright. I don't know where to even start looking for that. Oh, hello. Well, I mean, that's one way. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. So, I would assume... The Dedalian keys are back! Aren't they brilliant? I'm sorry, the what? I'll talk to you in a minute. I got, I got stones to find. Oh, there we go. Akio. Levioso. Have you ever had a call from me? I didn't think it was possible. Akio. Oh, there we go. One of Zenobia's gobstones. I just had bad aim. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. All right, let's talk to you. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what, what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Who? Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. Wait, does that have to, to do with one. the puzzles that I can't figure Why out? Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task. Oh, you may a find one, a reward. Perhaps I'll, I'll look it into it. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I gotta go all the way back up there. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Alright, well this one I am going to just fast travel for. All right. Finny. Off on another adventure, are we? Interesting. My dear Satyavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustrating. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym for my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love, Krita. Interesting. Is 
that like hit you things. Can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented the key counter. A Dedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Is it just gonna be in here? I feel like it's just in here. Oh, okay. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? I just have to slap it. Oh my god, do I have to slap it when it's right above it? Oh my god. Do I really have to... Oh, that's gonna be a pain. Especially if I'm just waiting for it. Oh god. Come on. Alright, that's kind of fun, honestly. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, I think I just have to slap it when it's above the thing. Oh my god. This is, this is gonna take a minute of concentration. I am bad at these timing games. Excellent. There we go. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Alright, I'm amazed I managed to do that right after saying I was bad at that. Revelio. Okay, nothing. Gotcha. Absolutely nothing. What is this? That's against the Dark Arts Tower. Basically, I did not see that last time I was here. A little cool space thing. Kitty. Spending sunny afternoons. It's a different kitty. Wonderful place to practice Accio on other students' books. I love the kitty. <gasps> Another kitty. Cheetah kitty. Best kind of kitty. Oh. Spinny. So adorable. Muggle school is so dull compared to Hogwarts. I'd love to see Oi, can you help Arthur me? Plumley. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff oh, might have the perseverance guy. to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Ask Poppy if she'd be interested oh, as so well, that's but could drag her away from like, the puff skein. Talked about. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sounds intriguing. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Okay. 
Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. There's a lot more side Very quests well. than I thought there would I be. I should take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. good, because I'm enjoying this. Meet me back this. here if you find anything. What the heck? I'm... He saw this and went, oh, this is a treasure map? Like, this looks more like a riddle to me. Okay. Find the first landmark from Arthur's treasure map. Okay, this is the charms classroom. Let's go down all the way. Fancy place. I shall run in the hall. Benny? Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high plate. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Yeah. All right, I definitely need to look at that map again. Seems from Arthur's treasure map that once I've exited the courtyard, I should look for a stairwell going up. Like this, right? Were you able to follow one of the Okay, hold on, hold on. Can I All right, let me let me talk to Nelly. The other way. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. What does I that call mean? them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as oh, well. Oh, okay. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Hufflepuff house chest. What are you up to now? I'm running around. That's transfiguration. <sighs> Cat. I'm going to be petting a lot of cats. Just keep that in mind. Oh. Yes, I know. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Why is there a little eye thing here? Oh, that's right. I had it transfigured. Gotcha. Oh, all right. Here we go. 
Okay, so it was behind that, behind the tree. Alright. It's just this door right here. I mean, this is that a look Final clue shows a painting with a ring at the top. I should search the area. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Akio! Uh, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Authentic historian's uniform. Pull it around. I was able to just pull it around. Alright, 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 alright. I need to Lumos. focus. Still don't know what to do with these. I'll just spin this. History of magic. Oh my god, every time I pass by, cat changes. I gotta pet it, because it's technically a new new cat. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <sighs> let's see, let's go talk to Arthur. Okay then. But I have to go up pretty high. Have you ever seen a What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. I learned Thought I got you might a robe. Like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems is as it? though we both had success. Glad I'd rather I have the money you to join me. Well, on rather to the have the money office. instead of just clothes. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might be your... Oh. Hello. I can't, like, equip it. It's just... okay. Just... I wonder how just cosmetic. That's disappointing. Not that I'd want to go in, mind you. Well, not if he's there. Revelio. Okay, let me try this one. I am missing something here. Something 
Is it something about these creatures? Like... Kitty. As adorable as you are. Here, let me reset your animation. It's an adorable animation. Now please stop trying to run into the door. Thank you. Ronan certainly employs creative teaching all right, I have no idea what to do for that. So, um, great hall. No, that's the wrong one. Grand staircase. No. Central Hall, that's what it was. Was it Central Hall? I guess it was. Yeah, it's just darker. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Akio. Levioso. Lumos. Let's oh. get you back to your frame, little moth. Gotcha. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And I got to level seven. Interesting. I wanted to hear the rest of that story. Well, then maybe start making some friends. Damn. Uh, let's see. Quests. Let's see. Is that the right one? Yeah, it is the right one. Oh, she's up there. Hiding from me. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I followed the I clues. found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. I mean, we it took me a moment, solving too. Riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! All right. Okay, now it's beard. Cool. Protego. All right. So, quests. Let us do this one.
Also, oh, spinny. Oh dear, I shall get in trouble for this. You Is probably everything will. right? Oh, hello. You probably deserve Thank it. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That's that actually amazing. Lovely. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm me. myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for I me. I do not have any There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing I mean, yeah, at the stars, that is pretty impressive. but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. All right. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio, oh, man. Got it. Only four more to go. Well, it wouldn't be that bad if they just stopped flying around. Doing that. I guess this is why it put me in Hufflepuff. Down Spinny. Spinny. Was a good cookie. Revelio. There's something here. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and was known for his liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest breeze. Knees. Akio. Revelio. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction, concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I am utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Arbroath Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. 
Well, I mean, that's just personal preference. It's like your opinion, man. Revelio. Oh, is this the, uh, the forbidden section? Alright, just gotta grab a couple more. Wherever they might be. Also, lots and lots of spinnies. Revelio! Spinning? Professor Black, might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section, and Cressidia Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal air arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. So, oh, you know what? It's probably up top. Revelio. Yep, there's one. Go. Okay. I just gotta find the other one. Rebellion. Thing. Not oh, one of these. All right. Lumos. Show me. Rebellion. There you are. Akio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. All right, and then Lumos. Yeah, I shall bring this moth back. I show go down the stairs. All right. Now we go back up the stairs. Go up these stairs. Lots of stairs in this place. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Uh, here, here you, you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should so start brushing up on my Latin. Try it again. Okay, cool. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to know I read it. Oh yeah, challenge complete. All right, so claim rewards. Interesting. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that I have to get. I 
would love to find out how to get into the room of requirement. Okay. That little line. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it. Revelio. Where am I supposed to be going? Look, it's night time. Alright. South Wing. Dueling Club. So. Let's go do this. Let's go do another main quest. Hopefully. It will unlock talents. Where am I going? I'm going down these stairs. That's what I'm doing. And then... I'm going to talk to Fig. Hope I'm going the right way. Revelio. don't know if I am going the right way, but hey. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. Fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimate before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigellus Black, Headmaster. Alright, wait around in Professor Fig's office. Oh, okay, he just pops up out of nowhere. Nor the fact that I'm actually here. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? Yeah. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Yes. The Speaking of the Gringotts. vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, That's I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. So they They're want off the locket. Lock you said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like nah, you to work with Professor Hecate a for bit Flibby, Flibby, before Flibby, we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Great. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Uh, 
something real quick. Perhaps I'll come back to this. This may have level or two requirements in order to activate them. Okay. I should come back to this another time. Need to check something real quick. I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perhaps I'll come back to this. And got to go back to my thing. Where are you? There we go. All right. So I need. What is this little thing that that's on the map? Rebellion. Okay, it's down there. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, that's the ladies' room. How do I get downstairs? What is up with the random fog? It's a long line. Okay. Have to go all the way around. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. They're over here. Revelio. Ah, I believe we have a Britian black skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the dark arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. To discuss. Interesting. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. Yes. As such, you are to learn Incendio, yes. the fire-making spell. Fire! And torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against yes. those who would wish to do us when harm. When necessary. Sounds... Never versatile. any other time. Quite. Of course not. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Of course. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. We win two rounds of crossed wands. We around a spell combination isn't practice. Secret as it's believed to be. Interesting, okay. All right. So let me go find him then, because that's basically what I gotta do. Mr. Owl. Alright, where are you? Let's do battle. 
Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Well, you know. I, I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our yeah. way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And okay. to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? I'm down. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, I'll probably just duel alone because I'm Flibby Flibberson. Get me in the ring. Flibby Flibberson flies alone. We'll make you regret signing up. Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Break through yellow shields with control spells like levitation spell. Target lock. Once you track enemies without aiming. Okay. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I yep. shall. I in will fact, be school the champion. Jewel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good Ooh. way to master spell combinations. Come and see me training and I'll dummy. set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. All right. See you back here again. So. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of. Ready to have a try now? Yep. That Let's would go. be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Yes, Ashio followed by four consecutive basic attacks. Akio. Good one. Levioso followed by four consecutive basic attacks. Levioso. Yeah. Excellent fall. Levioso. Oh, that was the wrong one. Okay. All right. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Okay, I have an idea of what to do for stuff for that stuff. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Yep, yep, yep. Ready for I'm another ready. round. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? No. I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Wait. 
it's one versus three. Break through violet, violet shields to four spells like summoning charm Esio. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh. Versus Ooh. three, not the easiest. Glad I didn't bet on you that round. Catch, go again. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Akio. Jesus. Let me also. Let me also. Let me also. Oh my god. Care to go again? Yes, I would. I I'll can do go. this. Glad to hear it. Libby Fliberson is no quitter. Pressing space to dodge, not control. I think that's part of the again? issue. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. And I don't do a lot of damage, do I? Yep. Again, did it exa exact same thing. I dodged that. Oh, 
All right, there we go. Finally! Really had a focus for that. 1v3, not easy. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, all right, they'll now really I'll be able to learn you. You'd the better fire keep practicing thing. if you want a chance at winning. The fire spell. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Okay. Assignment's all finished. Rebellion. 29. Anything? Oh, that's right. This is... Love you, sir. Let me Up that training dummy. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You could have gone a bit easier on me. Yeah, sorry. If you guys weren't going easy on me. Levioso. Accio. Repairo. Yeah, there's probably another spell I need to learn. Spinny! Spinny, spinny. I'm gonna learn my way around this school eventually. Rebellion. What is this? Augury skeleton. Skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury. An intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. The Irish phoenix. Oh yeah. Election complete. Let me get my reward. Hogwarts Regalia hat. I am at 5% for my collections. I'm doing so well. All right. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate- I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Yes, let should me burn be, everything. Professor? Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. Do not and worry, remember, for I am Libby for Libison. Concentrate and keep your wand All steady. Right. I can do this. I can do this. Oh. Oh, I almost didn't do it. But I did it. Learn enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you'll need to swap it with a different spell. Good work. Okay, so. Don't really need that. Uh, 
So quest. Oh, this one. Top of the class scarf. Interesting. Incendio is a heavy damage spell that unleashes destructive flames at a short range. Incendio. Okay, so I have to be a little bit closer. That I actually charred that. You're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Incendio. Accio. Let me answer. It's a Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. Now so I need to go all the way up what there. What are you up to now? Don't you worry what I'm up to. None of your business. Me so happy. Oh, I remember that day. Yes, in Greenhouse Three. Yes, that oh, is a good. You've hidden the bucket yeah. leaping toast over that than being far end. standing about like yes, an abandoned. Yes, I do recall now. Oh. And Professor Garlic knocked his own head of that. All is right. it a thing? I don't believe so. Time to focus. No, oh, that's the wrong classroom. The wrong classroom. I'm going the wrong way. Wait, no, I was going the right way. I was supposed to go this way. Revelio. Really, you have. Did you just shoo me away? Incendio. Like I will burn your painting down. So that's a pretty cool effect. Revelio. What am I looking for? Is this it? Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Is that a new uh, wand handle? I think it was. Let's wait for Fig. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, oh, shall we boy. proceed? I am Fig? really worn out. I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. Interesting. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor, we have no choice. Am I going to go on my own? It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Interesting. All right. So I am honestly exhausted. So I think... I am going to call it a day for this. 
I know I said that I wanted to do a very long stream, but uh, I feel ready to pass out. So, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. See you guys on uh, Friday for some Vampire. Although, I might play some more Hogwarts Legacy, depending on how I'm feeling. Depending on what my mood is, I should say. Yeah. Thank you, and uh, have a good night.